Okay, so hey, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the 81 Hz mod and a lot of people were asking me about to like how to flash that mod and how does that work? Well, let me show you that in today's video and also I'm gonna be talking about the Orange Fox recovery a little bit. So let's begin. So what is the 81 Hz mod and why there is a lot of hype about the 90 Hz thing about the OnePlus 7 Pro's display and upcoming OnePlus 70's display. Well, refresh rate is simply like a lot faster whenever the numbers goes up and, and normally with the displays you see 60 Hz or 60 FPS refresh rate all the time almost. Whenever that number goes up, the display becomes way faster. Like let's assume you overclock your monitor to 75Hz or 76Hz, you will get a lot better experience while gaming. Why? Because like competitive games has a lot like faster response time or response rate. If you are getting that response time correctly, you are gonna have a lot better experience and a lot faster experience. So what is up with that 60Hz thing? Let me show you. If you open this test UFO thing, let me show you that here it detects the refresh rate correctly over here. As you can see right now, the refresh rate shows as 60 Hz and yeah, the FPS shows over here. It's kind of like varying between 57, 60, etc. Where like whenever I am like pinching out and stuff. But here you will notice that there is a kind of stuttering. It's not a problem at all. This is just basically Android's thing, I think. And you will see the differences between 60 FPS, 30 and 15 over here. So it kind of detects the display refresh rate. And if you open IR64 2 in the display settings, you will see the refresh rate shows as 60 Hertz. And by the way, I'm not on MIUI on this device. I am on the Siberia OS currently, and this is not MIUI, but you're gonna get better experience with the 81 Hertz mod. Now, let me show you what file do you need. So this is the DTBO K20 Pro 81 Hz mod and do not try it on the K20 I think it won't work it is for the K20 Pro only I think so this is the 81 Hz and your device may or may not support it so make sure you're doing everything on your own risk and do not blame me if something goes wrong now this is the image file over here you just have to download it it is really small like 3 MB so let me show you how do you flash it. You need a custom recovery of course and if you don't know how to flash custom recovery or orange fox terabyte recovery on this device, here is a card for you and you can also check like how to flash ROMs and stuff on this K20 Pro with that video. Now let me boot back to recovery and show you what you need to do. Let me increase the brightness a little bit and as you can see this like recovery has a lot of customizations. You can increase decrease brightness like this and it is like a totally different recovery and it has a lot of features. So first thing what you need to do to flash the 81 Hz mod. Let me show you you go to backups and I did backup my DTBO image currently so it shows like that. But for you if you do not have a backup it will show like this and make sure you have the DTBO partition selected and just swipe to backup. So once you make that backup you have your DTBO backed up. So whenever like you are getting problems or you are like trying to going back to the 60 Hz refresh rate from 81 Hz, you can just simply go to this backup section on this recovery and just tap on that backup and like swipe to restore. So this is pretty simple. So make sure you have a backup of your DTBO image or this DTBO partition. Make sure you do have a backup of your system DTBO. Now once you have the backup. Let me show you, you just go to that download folder and if you are using a normal TWRP recovery, you have to select install image from the bottom right. But on this recovery, you don't need to do those. The image and zip files shows in like same position. So you don't need to worry. So right now what you do is select this DTBO image file over here and you select this DTBO option for this partition like how you want to flash this thing. So just select this partition as DTBO Now just swipe to install. So it just installs right away. You do not need to worry and you can just reboot system right now. But let me talk about a little bit more about this. You don't need to wipe anything about this like DTBO. You don't need to wipe cache, Dalvi cache, etc. You can just overwrite every time you like going back or like going to the 81 Hz mod. So that is really great. And in this recovery, let me show you the features over here. I am really enjoying this recovery. If you go into menu, and if you go into settings, you can change the whole UI theme over here. 
you can see the customizations are there this is kind of a rom but this is a custom recovery let me remind you if you go into the themes you can change like these kind of accent colors and the ui theme we have kind of uh, gray then totally dark or totally black then we have this white and you can choose from these many accent colors i chose blue because it's kind of like looking like stock android so that is really great and inside navigation bar we have this kind of nav bar style changing option you can change it to also nougat as you can see or even classic as you can see classic android style then we have the pie then we have the nav bar background you can change it to black accent dark etc as you can see it looks really great you have a lot of customizations over here then we can reverse the like layout of this snap bar let me go back then we have the fonts option too so that if you want to change the fonts of this recovery you can do that too so this is these are like crazy customizations for a recovery and if you go into lock screen you have this kind of clock and stuff customization it shows also the cpu heat and stuff then the battery percentage etc so these are like really great you can have the like lock icon or the clock now inside status bar we have the clock position changing option and stuff as you can see there is the left right center options over here these are really cool then we have the battery style changing option to pi or circle so as you can see lot of options for the status bar and here one thing let me tell you you can like have a pin or password but i am not quite gonna recommend you like having these this might end up resulting in like some kind of maybe encryption i don't know but over here let me show you there are more things here we have a miui ot option so yeah it does support miui ota but it says please flash full miui rom so make sure you're downloading full zip file of the miui if you're using this with miui so that's how it is and we have a about section of this orange box as you can see let me go back this is the release 10 version over here for redmi k20 pro and also you can customize the vibration then we have the backup option over here as you can see and this is just the backup settings i think now we have the regional like time settings option so i did change the time and stuff so it shows correctly right now and let me go back here you can also flash magic and stuff like right with the recovery you don't have to like download the magic and stuff i think you can directly flash it from here and also if you want to format data let me show you, you go to manage partition then select this data then the format data option will appear over here so you do that from here not from wipe the wipe option is like pretty simplistic i would say so we did flash the 81 hertz mod so now i'll just reboot so how do you reboot go to menu and before i reboot let me show you even there is the torch option for this recovery as you can see torch is working fine so this is a really amazing recovery i have to say and I did not use Orange Fox Recovery earlier, but it is great that I can say. Now, to reboot, you just go to Menu, then Reboot. Then you can directly reboot to System, Recovery, Bootloader, or the Download Mode. This is a like ADB kind of thing, I think. Then we have the Power of Option, but I'll just reboot to System. Now, talking about the 81 Hz mod, let me tell you that why I wasn't using it. Just for the sake of video, you might think. Yes, that's one reason too. But the another reason I would say here already in the cyberdia rom the fingerprint scanner is buggy and it like kind of does not work it works only two out of ten times but with the 81 hertz mod i have seen it is not working at all in my opinion so let me unlock the device first so now we have the 81 hertz mod over here and i don't know if you can notice yes it does feel a lot faster and everything is like really really smooth over here the whole UI feels a lot smoother. Now let me show you if it's actually 81 Hz. It's kind of sinking. So from this refresh rate, you can see it is 81 Hz and it shows ready. Then the frame rate is 82 FPS I'm getting over here. And that's how you can get 81 Hz mod on the Redmi K20 Pro. And it is really, really fast. The, this makes the whole UI and the animations over here really fast, I would say. And do I recommend this? Yes, of course, if you're in MIUI, you can flash it and enjoy it like amazingly. But if you're in a custom ROM, I won't quite recommend you. And here again, it shows 81 Hz, as you can see. Here, let me show you that with this, the fingerprint scanner like does not work at all. It just like keeps saying 
not recognized i don't know how and why for like what particular reason it does not work i have no idea but the fingerprint scanner over here with the 81 hertz mod is not simply working now let me show you like how fast is 81 hertz mod is i'm doing it with the 81 hertz on this like right side and on the left you will see the 60 hertz and this is like the slowed down version and going back to 60 hertz is like really simple what you need to do you just go to the backups and over here just select this like backup what you have now just try to restore this backup and it's done now reboot system and let me show you one more thing that with the 60 hertz mod here the fingerprint scanner does work as you can see it worked so the fingerprint scanner mostly does work but with the 81 hertz mod the fingerprint scanner i see it is not quite working with this rom at least i don't have the 81 hertz mod like flashed now but i would say yeah i did see a little bit of color shifting on this edge and with the 81 hertz mod you will get a lot less battery backup maybe if not a lot it's like 8 to 10 percent or like 12 to 15 percent less battery you are gonna get and with the 81 hertz mod of course you're gonna get less battery life if you are using that and it might damage the display in the long term but i'm not sure so i do i recommend flashing the 81 hertz mod yeah of course like if you want a fast experience with your redmi k20 pro that is one best thing you can flash but let make sure you are on miui otherwise the fingerprint scanner and stuff won't work as of right now i think so that's how i feel about the 81 hertz mod let me know in the comments what do you guys think so that's how you can flash the 81 hertz mod on the redmi k20 pro thank you so much for watching guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tiro from Kerry and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.